Let's soft reset. All I was really doing up until that point was just sticking around anyway. I I'm curious, are there repercussions to your actions in this ROM hack? Let's go back through here. I'll try to brave the area without, without fighting the mad scrubs. But holy crap, when did Zelda games start making me feel sad for playing them? So we're gonna take the sword, but we're gonna leave the small foes alone. Okay, so she pops down. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave her be. We're just gonna run. Can she follow us up here? I don't think she can. Whoops. Okay, so she's gonna be hounding us throughout this area if we decide not to take the ladder. Which we are because money. I want those roots. So we'll leave her alone. We'll just go through, grab this money on the way out so we can afford the shield. Yeah, the, the, the area hasn't gotten dark. Saria's song is still playing. Let's see. What do you say now? Hi, mister. See that light over there? Okay. It really scared me. What do you think it is? Well, I have the sword. She didn't say anything. Is, is this one still out here? No. Do any of the others have anything to say? Are you here to visit the hero's tomb? Just be respectful. She were still alive because of her. So they don't say anything different now. They only say something different if you kill her. That's actually a decision-based thing in Ocarina of Time that actually has some repercussions. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can get some more. Can I get those rupees again? And more importantly, is the is the Kokuri hero still going to be around? Now, does she pop up again? Or is she going to still be down here? Nope. Yeah, she does. Okay. So if I don't want to upset the Kokuri, don't kill her. Okay, there is another red rupee here. Now, here's the thing. Am I going to get 100 or am I going to get 99? 99. Okay. So there is no way to afford that boomerang just yet. Well, this here says that there should be there there should be a thick layer of vines, but we don't. Uh, that's not in this version. Oh, is this the Deku Tree's glade? Yeah, there he is. Already dead. Oh, and barren of leaves too. Like all of his leaves are gone. So why didn't the sprout grow? This, this is our Deku tree. Tattle and I haven't been back in a long, long time after it died. She must have come here looking for something, don't you think? Let's head inside. Maybe my sister is still here, or at least a clue. Oh, so they're looking for Tattle. That's why Tail is with Link. Okay. Interesting. I was kind of wondering why it was Tail that was Link's fairy companion. I'm guessing that Link was living alone in the mountains. And one day, Tail came to him saying that Tattle had disappeared and asked him for help to go and find her. It's also entirely possible that this is a completely different Deku Tree. Oh my god. Oh, it's even more decrepit than I thought. Look at it. It's like... The roots toward the bottom here are somewhat petrified. Yeah, this is not Hyrule's Deku Tree. This is a different Deku tree. I do know that, and, and that's probably another tie into the Oracle games, that um, later supplementary materials uh, did say that the Maku, that the Maku tree, the, or the Maku trees, rather, in the Oracle games are actually direct descendants of the Deku tree. So... I guess the idea of there being more than one Deku tree uh, isn't that far-fetched when you think about it. So are we still in Termina? Is that what's going on here? Are we still in Termina, but just like an extended version of it? And that there is a Deku tree in Termina? Is that why there's no Sprout? Wow. This is a um, rather high-res entrance compared to Ocarina.
Ah. I am going to say this probably for the first of many, many times. Fuck squandered sneezes. Oh my god, I have been having so many of those lately. Just, just give me the sneeze. If I'm going to have, like, a build-up like that, at least give me the satisfaction of letting it go. Don't just be like, oh, oh, here it comes, here it comes. Nope! Oh my god, oh, we slid. Um, can we get out? Like, can we get out? Okay, we can actually get out by just walking back up. So this is a much different Deku tree. Dead Deku tree. Okay, we got uh, we got locked doors. Did the locked doors in Ocarina of Time always look like that? I don't think they were always that detailed. We've got a shield, we got a sword, we got some sticks. We need a ranged weapon, apparently. All right, we can go down that. Well, no, we can't. This is the way to the boss, apparently. Ooh, nice pot texture, I will say. Let's grab some health, since we are still a little bit low after those tech kites kicked our ass. Nowhere to go but this way. Oh, hello. Yo. So we can pull this out to get us back up. I do like how they have the... The blo- Oh. There's a crawl space. Be careful. It looks like that strong. It looks like that water current is really strong. Try not to fall in, okay? Yeet! Nope. Well, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I didn't listen. So the only thing that we can really do is go into the crawl space. Let's see what's here. Whoa. Okay. Link can crawl a lot quicker than he could in the original game. Oh my god! That came right as the fucking... <laughs> that came right as the... As the Goma larva came down. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Alright. We got some hearts here. We got some grass here. Oh. Do you mind... I actually haven't, I actually haven't seen what Tails insight on this is. Goma larva, these will pounce on you from far away. Fortunately, they're weak having just hatched. Okay, so these are no different than your average Goma larva. Oh, this is the block. This is the block that was on the other side, right? So we pull it out here and then we go back through and we'll be able to jump across. Yeah. See, now we got this right here. Now we got a way across. Let's go. Good job, game dev. I mean, this is a this is a pretty these are some pretty cool puzzles already. You basically got to do something in a completely different room in order to solve a puzzle in a previous one. That's really cool. All right, we got ourselves a key now. Still can't get to the boss chest. Uh, and definitely can't get to the boss door, but I know that there was a locked door over this way that we can look into. Let's crack that open. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, what is that? Why, why is like this? Ancient Dekubaba. It's huge. Be careful. How long has it been growing down here? Get up close and cut the stem. Ow. Okay, <laughs> how many times do I have to hit it? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this game uh, definitely seems to step, seems to ramp up the difficulty compared to your, your average Ocarina of Time. As if they weren't annoying enough, yeah, right? We took a couple of hits there, but nothing I can't handle, I don't think. We got some roots, and let's see, what else do we got here? So let's head up here. 
What do we got? Ooh, that's a lot of Armos. I'm pretty sure that some of these are alive, right? Yep. Stop its movements, then destroy it. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I know how to fight Armos' as young Link. Pretty sure it's no different here. Oh, wait, are they all alive? Where's my nuts? Do I not have any nut? Ooh. I don't think I have the means to... Wait. Oh, okay, no. We don't need nut. I was gonna say, if all of these are alive and it actually expects me to do the spirit temple thing, where you have to lure one of them onto the switch and then stun it... Oh, my nuts are between my legs. I mean, I got a couple of them down there. Yo. Hey. Whoa. That could have been bad. I landed just on the edge of this platform. Holy crap. Um, okay. Can I reach this? I can. Can I reach this? I can. Um, okay. This is actually where I was. I didn't, I did not know that this gap was here next to the locked door. I didn't see that. Okay. Now. Let's get up here. Ancient Deku Tree. This is kind of interesting. Okay, we got ourselves some hearts. What this? Hmm, okay, we got a chest here. Do I have any means of getting some fire down there? Whoa, crap. <laughs> Let's put the sword away. Seems to be a little bit easier to control Link whenever he's uh whenever he's got his equipment put away as well. Alongside just simply him being faster. Does look like there is some effort to going up hills now, though. Well, we are climbing. Ooh. We still got the god rays coming through the solid surface, but... That is a big climb. Wow. For a first dungeon, this is pretty long. Hello. You dead. Start. Nut. Okay. That's nice. Okay, we got some nut. So the Deku Babas here look a lot different. And I'm guessing that, that was that's basically there to provide you with more sticks if you don't have any at this point. So yeah. Light the torches puzzle, a Zelda classic. Now I'm going to do something. Not sure if this is how it's actually intended, but... I feel like theoretically, if I come out here, hop down, and then turn around... Oh, I don't have enough time. Or do I and my movement was just that inefficient? I wonder... Let me try again. Oh, you you come back. Okay, well, there's a there's a closer fire source right here. And then we just want to drop down. Get over here and we can do that. I'm not sure if that was the intended way of doing it. But we pop this open and we get a purple ruby for it. If I didn't have max money, that would be great, but. I'm not entirely certain if that was the right way to go about that. But I really, at this point, don't see any other way that you could have possibly delivered fire down there. Unless Link gets something that allows him to... That allows him to just create fire at will. 
We don't have magic, so I don't think it would be dense fire or fire arrows. It would probably have to be something else, like a torch. Mayhap. Something like that. Hmm. Pop this open. How do you buy stuff that costs more than your max money? You have to get yourself a wallet upgrade. Or you start with the basic wallet that can hold 99. And you can get the adult wallet that allows you to carry 200. And then the giant's wallet lets you carry 500. All right. I got my button in. And now we are going further up the tree. Yo, that is enormous. Gigantula. How big can these get? Wait for it to expose its soft belly. Oh my lord, they spin so fast. Okay, we wanna we wanna jump attack while it's facing us. Ooh, too early. There we go. I don't know how much damage that thing was going to be doing to me. And I wasn't about to find out if I could help it. What is now? Oh dear. Waltulas. Let's go Waltula. If it sees you, stop moving. That's actually amazing advice. You're never told that in uh, Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask proper, but that is a technique to be able to get by these things. If you're in their line of sight and they're looking at you, just uh, freeze for a moment. Just like that. And you can slowly edge your way around them. Oops, hold on. What's this? It's the green rope. Why are there so many crates inside the Deku Tree? Of all things, crates? Yo? Whoa! Whoa! Are we at the bows? Holy shit. What's up here? Is this gonna be a slingshot or a bow or something? Yep, fairy bow. Let fly an arrow. What do you say we take the quick way down? There's a pond right beneath us. Let's dive in. That's really cool. Uh, that's one reason why the Spirit Temple is my favorite dungeon in Ocarina of Time, because there's outdoor segments of it. Like, only a few. But it kind of does make the dungeon feel more like, you know, it's it's part of, like, a greater whole. Yeet it! Ow! Oh, oops. I thought it was going to be deeper. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> Look how much damage that did. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, oops. I was going to say, I remember walking around that pool. I don't think it was that deep, but okay. Maybe there's like actually a section of it that is. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. That's funny as hell. We got some more health. And we have some other things of uh, help in here. Boss key! Now you can get in the chamber where the boss lurks. Now, what is the boss gonna be? Is it gonna be Goma? Or is it gonna be something else? Is it Goma? Boom. It looks like it is. Oh, it's different. It's purple. Whoa, whoa. Is it bigger? Parasitic Armored Arachnid Goma. It is Goma. Oh my god, it is bigger. Holy shit. Why is it so large? The first Goma. 
It's still alive? Oh, primeval Goma. Aim for the eye when it's red. Yeah. Ow. Does power crouch stab work? Not sure. Okay. Skater, skater. Okay. Looks like you fight it like a regular Goma, but you don't have as much of a window of opportunity to attack it. Got him, though. Primeval Goma. That's That was cool. It was basically just a reskinned and uh, oversized Queen Goma, but that was still interesting. Do we get a heart container? We do get a heart container. Okay. Maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your energy will be totally filled. Let's go. All right. So what happens upon beating this? 